Sir Ernest Henry Shackleton, leader of the Imperial Trans-Antarctic Expedition, had already been to the Antarctic twice before setting out on the Endurance. The crew in the Endurance consisted of Sir Ernest Shackleton, the leader, Frank Wilde, second in command, Frank Worsley, captain, Lionel Greenstreet, first officer, Tom Crane, second officer, Alfred Cheatham, third officer, Hubert Hudson, navigator, Louis Rickinson, engineer, Alexander Kerr, engineer, Alexander Macklin, surgeon, James McElroy, surgeon, Sir James Wardy, geologist, Leonard Hussey, meteorologist, Reginald James, physicist, Robert Clark, biologist, Frank Hurley, photographer, George Marston, artist, Thomas Le Ord Lees, motor expert and storekeeper, Harry Chippy McNeish, carpenter, Charles Green, the cook, Walter Howe, able seaman, William Bakewell, able seaman, Timothy McCarthy, able seaman, Thomas McLeod, able seaman, John Vincent, boatswain, Ernest Holness, stoker, William Stevenson, stoker, first Blackborough, steward. The original plans on the endur of the Endurance built in Norway, the ship was 144 feet long and 25 feet wide. There were four decks, the bridge deck from which the ship was steered, the main deck containing the saloon and the officers' cabins, the lower deck containing the engine room and the crew's quarters, and the hold, where coal, fresh water, and provisions were stored. On August 8th, the Imperial Trans-Antarctic Expedition left England. They played soccer on a hold-up, waiting for a lead to open up so the ship could continue going through the berg. Charles Green, the cook, cook carved up some seal meat because the, the doctors guessed that it prevents scurvy and encouraged everyone to eat it as often as possible. They continued to eat this until the end, end of their journey. The, sto the endurance was stopped by fierce storms and was wrecked and broken half and now the only thing left to do was use the secondary ships which was just lifeboats they set out with three lifeboats but had to stop for a while before trying to make their return to the mainland they had to kill all the dogs and they almost lost one member by him getting stuck into the water by a breaking by the iceberg breaking in half and splitting right down their tent. They finally made it to Elephant Island. When they got there, they composed a song for Frank Wilde. This is what it said. My name is Frank Wa Frankie Wildo. My hut's on Elephant Island. The walls without a single brick, the roofs without a tile. But nevertheless, you must confess, for many and many a mile, it's the most palatable dwelling place you'll find on El Elephant Isle. Shipwreck at the Bottom of the World by Jennifer Armstrong Just imagine yourself in the most hostile place on Earth. It's not the Sahara or Gobi Desert. It's not the Arctic. The most hostile place on Earth is Antarctic, the location of the South Pole.